Hello everybody, in this Photoshop tutorial I'd like to cover the Slice tool, what it is, and what you can do with it. So the Slice tool's function is to break up your Photoshop document into different sections, the first of which is going to be defined, if you're using the Slice tool itself, by a rectangular box, and then with the other remaining space inside of your Photoshop image, automatically created Slice sections are going to be added to your document. If you export your document to save to the web, then each of these different sections are going to, by default, be taken in as an image that will display on the web page. By editing the details in each of these different sections, you can add in URLs to each image, a name, a description, and that kind of information. So as you'll see in this video, the Slice tool is designed mostly to be a web or website design tool but you can still kind of use it inside Photoshop itself. And that's because in many ways, slices share the same properties as guides within Photoshop. They're created in different ways and look a little different, but you can still use them to define sections inside the Photoshop document itself, and you can also snap to slice lines just like you can snap to guidelines. For instance, if you have a layer that has some information in it but isn't taking up the entire size of the image, then you can use the Create Slices from Layers button. That will use the borders of where that layer has information to determine where the initial slice box should go and then automatically creates the rest of the slice boxes based on that. Another option is actually to create the slices from the guidelines themselves. Now after the slices are on your document, you can manipulate them with the Slice Select tool, double clicking on a slice if you want to add in information such as a URL that that slice image will go to when you click on it in the web page version, or dividing a slice into multiple slices, kind of like dividing a web page into multiple columns, and to adjust the size of each slice. Now, if you want to export these slices in the way that it was intended with Photoshop, you would go up to the File menu, Export, Save for Web. From there, choose the same export information you would for any other image, such as the image type. If you hit Save, you'll get a dialog window that says Save Optimized As. And here in the Format dropdown, you can determine whether it's just going to export the different sliced images in your document as a collection of images, or if you're going to include the HTML code as well so that you can immediately take all these images and have them displayed as a table in an actual web page. As you can see here, this is the results that I got by exporting my slices. Because the document was very, very large, uh, about 2,500 pixels tall by 1,440 pixels wide, it's not really appropriate for a web page display here. So you'll definitely need to keep in mind the pixel count when you're designing with slices in mind for the web. But aside from that, you can see how when I added a URL to the center slice, the little swirl here, it actually added the URL to the page, which is pretty cool. So that's about it for this tutorial on slices. It's one tool in a web designer's arsenal to use. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next one.